Um. So speaking about integrals, the next question asks us to find the average value of the function over the given interval and all the values of x in that interval for which a function equals its average value. So like in a regular average calculation, you take the total, you, you sum up all the individual values and you take the total and you divide it by the total number of values. In the same way, when we're calculating the average value of the function, we need to find the total value of the function within that interval and divide it by um, the, um, the interval itself. Okay, so as I described, the formula for calculating the average value is this. Okay, so average value. So the average value, uh, average, can be calculated as such: um, one over b minus a. Uh, times the definite integral of the function from b of a, where is defined over interval So you can see there's some similarities to the uh, the I guess the simpler average formula with just numbers. When we calculate the total value of the function or the uh, all the all the separate entities, I guess, and we divide it by the interval itself. So this will give us the average value. Okay. So looking at our um, question itself, we need to calculate the definite integral of this. So first of all, uh, let's calculate the definite definite integral. Okay, so the definite integral from 2 and negative 2 of 4 minus x squared in terms of dx, that equals to uh, 4x minus 1 over 3x cubed, or interval 2, negative 2. Okay, uh, so if we were to calculate this, this will be 4 times 2 minus 1 over 3 times 2 cubed. Minus four times negative two minus negative two cubed over three, and we get um, thirty two over three. Okay. So that's the definite integral. So that's the total value of our function over that, um, that interval two, negative two, negative two to two. All right, so now we're gonna calculate uh, one over b minus a, and that's going to be one over uh, two minus negative two, which is equal to uh, one over four. And finally, if we apply that formula, so that means the average value, which is going to be f of c, is equal to uh, 1 over 4 times 32 over 3, which equals to 8 over 3. Okay, so that's the average value of our function over the interval negative 2 and 2. So finally, the, the final question that the, um, the question poses is to find the values of x in the interval for which the function equals its average value. So we set f of x to be equal to 8 over 3, and we solve for x, okay? And if we solve for x, we get x equals 8 over 3 minus 4, and that equals to x squared equals 4 minus 8 over 3. That equals to 12 over 3, so 4 over 3 x squared, and that equals to x equals plus or minus um, 2 over root 3. Okay? So that's how you calculate the, um, the values of x, where f of x equals its average value. So if we were to plug this into our function here, you would get 8 over 3. Okay, so that's how you solve uh, this question of finding the average value of the function over a given interval. Okay, so this solution is correct. 
All right, moving along to question number three. 